Hi everyone, Hamish and Gabe here from the Uplay team at Massive Entertainment. Now we know why you're all here, it is that time in our schedule of videos where we do giveaways. So you've come to the right place if that's what you're into. Yeah, and if you're curious about if you won last month's giveaway, you can check out the description below. But this month, we're looking at your virtual arm, the mouse. Now mice, they come in all different shapes, sizes, feels textures, grips. So it all really comes down to your personal preference, but luckily Corsair has hooked us up with a few things. That means that this month we're giving away a couple of mice to a couple of very lucky winners. It's gonna be one M55 RGB Pro and one Night Sword RGB. So make sure you stick around and find out how you can win those. But for now, we're gonna take a look at some mice and see how they go. Got it. So let's start it off by talking about one of the newest additions to the Corsair lineup, the Iron Claw RGB Wireless. So let's take a look at some of the key stats and features. To start off with, the mouse comes with three modes of connection. You can either use Corsair's Slipstream Wireless technology that boasts a super quick sub 1ms latency, which is in line with, if not even better than a lot of top tier wired mice, a huge range of around 10 meters for those of you looking to play games pretty much wherever you want in your house, and intelligent frequency shift so it's always using the best connection possible. Alternatively, you can also use Bluetooth connection and there's of course a USB wired mode so you can keep playing while it's charging. It also comes with a USB adapter that you can use to plug the wireless receiver into and place it wherever you want. I know one of the first questions I have when it comes to wireless mice is the battery life. Using the 2.4 gigahertz connection through Slipstream, you can get up to 16 hours with standard lighting or 24 hours with lighting off. Through Bluetooth, you're looking at 30 hours with standard lighting and 50 hours with lighting off. Sensor-wise, you're looking at a custom Pixar 18,000 DPI optical sensor that allows you to adjust down to the one DPI resolution for those of you really looking to customize your sensitivity. The mouse comes with 10 programmable buttons, three RGB zones for all your RGB needs and desires, weighs 130 grams, and comes with a 1.8 meter braided fiber cable for when you need to give that battery some extra juice. It starts at a price of around $80 or 80 euros. So let's talk about the overall impressions and how the mouse feels. Overall, it's considered a palm grip mouse, so it has a pretty wide base and fits well into your palm. It has 10 programmable buttons, five of which you'll find here on the side. You have the clicky scroll wheel, two on the top, and then of course your left and right click. The mouse has kind of a smooth rubbery feel on the top and on the side here and on the other side, you have these textured, more hard rubber for that extra grip when using the mouse. For me personally, I really like the shape of the mouse. It fits really well into your palm and gives you kind of a really nice sense of like, this mouse isn't gonna move and escape my hand if I move too fast. Next up, we have the Night Sword RGB. Similar to the Iron Claw Wireless, it's equipped with the Pixart 18,000 DPI optical sensor that can be adjusted in one DPI resolution steps. One key feature of this mouse is its customizable weight. Whether you're someone that likes a light mouse or a bit more weight to it, the mouse comes with two sets of weights and six mounting locations that give you 120 different weight and balance configurations ranging from 119 grams to 141 grams. It has eight programmable buttons, four RGB zones, and is connected with a 1.8 meter braided fiber cable. Again, similar to the Iron Claw, it's considered a palm grip mouse. And on this mouse, you have this kind of extra thumb support area here, which is actually really comfortable to hold on to. You have this textured rubber on the back that gives you a nice grippy feel, but also feels pretty smooth in your hands. Uh, as mentioned, it has eight programmable buttons. So you have three here on the side, uh, two here up on the front next to the left click. And of course, your left click, your right click, your scroll wheel click, and two additional buttons above the scroll wheel. As mentioned, it has a braided fiber cable, which to be honest, feels very sturdy. Uh, it's also really easy to shape. If you're someone like me that likes having my cable in a very specific way, this cable does a really good job of allowing you to shape it in whatever direction you want it to go. It is a bit more narrow at the base compared to the iron claw that we just looked at, but it does come with this thumb rest, which I think adds a lot of the comfort to it, at least for me personally. You can pick up a night sword for $80 or 80 euros. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the M55 RGB Pro, which is again, another new mouse Corsair has recently added to their lineup. It's an ambidextrous mouse, so for all you lefties out there, or if you just like to switch it up every now and then, and is also a multi-grip mouse. It's equipped with a 12,400 DPI optical sensor and comes with eight programmable buttons, two RGB zones, and weighs just 85 grams for those of you looking for the extra light experience. It has a 1.8 meter braided fiber cable and a starting price of 50 euros or around $40. 
So instantly you can really feel the weight difference when you pick it up. I mean, 85 grams is a really light mouse. So again, for those of you that like light experiences, uh, the texture on the top, I'm not really sure how I would describe it. It's kind of a hard plastic with a little bit of a rough texture. Uh, I personally really like it. I think it gives a little bit more of a sense of the a grip in your hand. Uh, it has this textured plastic on the side that allows you to grip it on the side with a little bit more uh, roughness. In terms of the button layout, you have two here on the side above your thumb, uh, two next to your pinky or your ring finger, depending on how you hold your mouse. Of course, your left and your right click, uh, you have a button above your scroll wheel and then the scroll wheel itself. As mentioned before, it is a multi-grip mouse, so you can kind of hold it however you want. I think for me personally, I'd prefer a little bit more of a wider mouse, but it does have a really nice feel to it. It is really light, and I do like the overall texture and how it holds in your hand. And finally, we have the M65 RGB Elite. Uh, we actually have the black version here. It also comes with the white version. They're exactly the same, just different colors. Again, like the Night Sword and Iron Claw, it's equipped with the Pixar 18,000 DPI optical sensor that you can adjust down to one DPI resolution steps. Similar to the Night Sword, you can also customize the weight as it comes with three additional weights to give you the extra feel of balance you're looking for. It has nine programmable buttons, two RGB zones, and weighs 97 grams without considering the cable or the additional weights it comes with. Again, it comes with the 1.8 meter braided fiber cable that we've seen in all the other mice, and it has a starting price of $65 or 70 euros. The M65 isn't considered more of a claw grip mouse, so it has a really narrow base. The texture on top is a really smooth plastic, if that's something that you prefer. The button layout, so you have three here on the side, the left and right click, of course, two above the scroll wheel and the scroll wheel itself. The texture on the sides of the mouse where your fingers rest are a little bit more rough, so it gives you that extra sensation of grip. The overall feel of the mouse itself feels really high quality, so if you do like the smoother feel, something like a satin or silk, it kind of feels similar to that. Personally, for me, I'm not a huge fan of that. I enjoy a little bit more of a rough texture, but hey, it's your own personal preference, right? All your RGB goodness can be managed from Corsair's IQ software that you can download from their websites and it's super easy to use. Basically, if it's up to date, you plug in your hardware, it should be detected and you can adjust all your RGB stuff to whatever your heart desires. We've also worked with Corsair on further lighting integration in some of our games that really allows you to take your setup to the next level. But let's see how that looks in the Division 2. We hope you enjoyed that deeper look into these mice. And once again, thank you to Corsair for sending these over. And if you're interested in getting your hands on either an M55 RGB Pro or a Night Sword RGB, make sure to head over to our Twitter, check out the pinned tweet and enter for your chance to win one of these nice things. All right, that's gonna be all for today. See you again really soon, bye.